Hi guys, how are you? I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be done with school. It was, uh, it was rough for a couple of months and I'm just happy to sit down and film a Christmas makeup video. It's just gonna be kind of get ready with me for Christmas. Um, I'm actually going out tonight to see some friends. So I thought it would be a good idea to film a video while I'm getting ready. So, how do you like my dear band? Isn't it cute? <laughs> So without further ado, let's jump to it and let's start getting ready. I'm gonna start with a primer and I'm gonna use today two primers because I feel like my skin was a little bit dehydrated lately so I want some hydration but I also want to reduce some pores. So I'm gonna use Guerlain uh, Lure Primer, how do you call it? Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold and I'm gonna use Cover Facts Blurring Primer to really focus on my pores and to really kind of try to erase them which is probably not gonna happen but we're gonna check so how has everyone been any crazy plans for christmas i want to know leave it in the comment below for us um i don't know maybe some of you know maybe some of you can guess um but <laughs> i was born and raised in russia and i'm orthodox so even though i now live in canada we still have a different christmas so for us it's january 7th the christmas christmas eve We'll celebrate Catholic Christmas because it's fun and we usually get together with uh, my parents-in-law We go to their house, eat a lot of food, so I'm super super excited about that I'm a kind of person that doesn't like... I love Christmas, but I, what I don't like is running around and getting gifts So usually with my friends We kind of make a deal not to do any presents We just get together, have fun and, you know, enjoy the enjoy the night have some good food for the foundation i'm gonna use today dior forever undercover 24 hour full coverage foundation i love this foundation by the way i have oily combo skin i have super dry like chicory and super oily t-zone so it's a nightmare <laughs> when your skin can't make up with mine if it's dry or oily it's a little bit of a nightmare so i constantly struggle with not enough moisture too much moisture you know um, so yeah, I have the shade 021 and I'm just gonna put it in my, on my hand. Every time I start recording video, our neighbors goes bananas. I don't know if right now camera picks it up or not, but our neighbors just make so much noise right now. By the way, I didn't tell you what I wanna do for the look. So I wanna do like a very classic Christmassy kind of look. I wanna do the wing and red lips, you know, like the classic, classic holiday. I haven't done it in a long time and I don't normally wear red lipsticks. And the only time I find myself wearing red lipsticks is somewhere around Christmas holidays. So um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to put some red lips on. For the concealer, I'm gonna go with uh, Eslau the Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. I love this concealer, it's one of my favorite concealers. I have the shade 1C Light Cool. And yeah, I'm like their foundation, the Double Wear Foundation. Oh, my Holy Grail foundation, in case you didn't know, but you probably know. If, you were, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you probably know that I love Estee Lauder so so much well foundation i feel like this concealer is a tiny bit too light for this foundation because i usually use it with my estee lauder and i had the shade lighter well i had lighter shade than this one when i wore last hand but yeah this one is a tiny bit too light my guess i live on the third floor and somebody right now is outside and I can hear them talking. Crazy. I live in an apartment and living in an apartment has its parts. <laughs> so before the concealer has a chance to crease, we're gonna set it with some powder and I'm gonna use Maybelline Fit Me uh, Loose Finishing Powder and I have the shade Tan Fair Light. I love this powder. It's my favorite, favorite powder in the entire world. Maybe I like Laura Mercier. No, actually, I think I like this one better than Laura Mercier. I ran out of Laura Mercier and I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it. I'm almost out of this one. Actually, I'm super, super low. I should get a new one. Uh, I don't know. I probably won't repurchase it. All right, let me quickly reblend everything. Just make sure we don't set any creases. I wanted to use some contour. Well, I guess no contour. 
So maybe I should tell you a little bit about myself. I don't know where to begin and it's kind of awkward talking about myself <laughs> to a camera. Well, some of you might know that I recently got married. Um, I've been with my husband for about five years. Actually, it's gonna be five years in January. Personally, wedding for me didn't change much and I kind of never wanted like super crazy wedding and I just wanted to get married and always thought that marriage is all about you and it's all about the couple and you guys should have fun uh, by the way i'm gonna use for the bronze i'm gonna use start 30s pro glow palette uh, and i'm gonna use the bronzer one the sculpt shade in there so yeah as i was saying um i always thought that marriage was more like a couple thing and I really never wanted to have a big wedding. I actually didn't want to have a wedding in general, I just wanted to be two of us, but something went wrong on the way. So we ended up having a wedding, which to be honest, I do regret. I would still prefer having a wedding somewhere on the beach, just me and him. But it is what it is, I'm glad it's over. I never want to repeat ever anything like that again. I hate to be a center of attention. I dislike it to my core i just like to have fun i like talking to people but <laughs> i like to be in the center of attention because i never know how to kind of react that's probably why i work as an accountant because i work with my numbers i enjoy numbers i don't have to talk to real people we actually do have to talk to real people a lot in my company because of the nature of what I do, I constantly in the communication with salespeople and I constantly have to get information that I might be missing. But I don't mind it, most of the time it's just me, my numbers and I. <laughs> I truly love working as an accountant, I think this is my passion. If I wouldn't be an accountant, at this point I would probably be doing something with makeup related, but I don't know. I really love makeup. I had a passion for makeup since I was a little girl. I remember my mom used to have this bourgeois, I think it was the bourgeois eyeshadow and it was this beautiful gorgeous purple shade which is like super wearable and she had the mascara, like a blue mascara. Well, like On my like days off I would sit and play with makeup. I would be like, I don't know, eight, nine and I would just put some eyeshadow on and you know mascara and be like the prettiest girl in the world so that was fun but it's kind of i guess how i started the makeup like my digging into the makeup and you know i always wore makeup since i was a little kid well not a little kid like i think i started wearing makeup to school maybe somewhere around i want to say grade seven but probably around grade eight but I was mostly like wearing some powder, like there were no eyebrows. And guys, I don't really have big eyebrows. So imagine I had like just powder on my face and really kind of nothing. No, actually I would have blush, I think. Yeah, it was a blush, some powder on my face and mascara. No lipsticks, no eyebrows. We're good to go like that. So yeah, I was an interesting kid. And then I discovered liquid foundation and of course, Guess what I applied it with with my finger? Well, with my hands to be. I would just like smudge it <laughs> all over my face until I'm satisfied. And I would go like that to school. Every time I look at my pictures of the school, I always laugh at myself. Oh, and the other thing I like to do, like I don't have big, big eyes. So I would also put some eyeliner in my waterline and I would make my eyes super small and i thought it was super super cute and pretty i'm gonna do my eyebrows and i'm not gonna be able to talk while doing my eyebrows because it's too complicated <laughs> and it requires all my attention so i'm just gonna kind of speed it through and it's gonna take me forever to do my eyebrows anyways i'm just gonna tell you what i'm gonna use i'm gonna use brow i'm gonna use cat 1d signature brow pencil i love this pencil my favorite i am in the shade what i should i am graphite uh, I'm gonna top it with Anastasia Beverly Hills De Brow Pomade in the shade Granite and I'm gonna apply some uh, Hourglass to where are you? Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel just to kind of finish it up.
All right, the eyebrows are done. Let's kick off some powder. Uh, I feel like I need some color and I need some highlighter. So we're gonna go in the blush next. I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Perlescent Pink. I love, 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 love this blush. I think it's an amazing, amazing blush and it's super, super affordable. And you have to be careful not to apply too much. So what else did I tell you? Oh yeah, so I'm an accountant and the reason why I was super, super busy the last couple of months is because I'm doing my CPA right now. It takes some time and I apply too much blush. So I think, let me calm it out a little bit. CPA takes a lot of education and a lot of time. I'm doing the national program and not the university one and I find that it's a little bit more demanding than university program, but I like it. It's a struggle. It's a lot of stress. Um, I study every day after work. I come home from work and I study about until about 11 p.m. every single night. Pretty much I have no life. <laughs> So I'm super excited that I'm right now on vacation and I don't have my CPA right now going and exam is done. I just fin I just wrote an exam a couple of days ago. So exam is done. There's really nothing I can do at this point. Just kind of wait and see if I pass it or not. And that's pretty much it. I still have how many courses? I have three more courses left to go and I will be done and honestly I cannot cannot wait to be done because I want my life back. <laughs> For the highlighter I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petal. I love this highlighter. I think it's such a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter. It's you really like you should have it if you don't have it and it's super super affordable and yep. Yeah. I love this highlighter. Look how pretty this highlighter is though. Guys, what do you do in your life? Like, what do you work? What do you do? Do you study? Do you work? I really want to know something about you. So put it in a comment below. I really want to meet you. Where are you from? Where do you live? And all that fun. Let's talk a little bit in the comment section and uh, let's get to know each other. All right, we're all glowy and pretty. I'm. I'm gonna do an eyeliner and I suck at eyelining. So let's just hope I don't screw it up today because I don't feel like removing the makeup. And for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I like this eyeliner a lot. I think it's like my second or third eyeliner, the Kat Von D eyeliner. And it has matte finish and it doesn't bleed, it doesn't collect in my inner tear duct and it's just a beautiful eyeliner because a lot of eyeliners do collect in my inner tear duct and they do bleed and make me look like I have black inside. Like it's not pretty, it's not cute. When I do my eyeliner, I'm even afraid to breathe because I feel like any breathing, any talking will make my hand move. Whew, I need to take some time to breathe. <laughs> I'm really low on oxygen. It's it's really a struggle. I never apply my eyeliner holding a mirror and do the eyeliner. I find it it's it's hard because you're focusing on the eyeliner not to go and also the mirror has to stay in the same kind of spot. Not a bad eyeliner job. Wow. Yay. I mean they're a little bit not matching. Having a little bit different eyeliner. Because afraid, I'm afraid if I'm gonna go even more in the trying to fix the situation, I'm gonna screw it up more. And for the mascara, I'm gonna use Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this mascara. That's one of the few mascaras that doesn't transfer on my oily lids. And because like I'm, so, oh, had some crap in my, had some eyeshadow left on the thing, so it kind of made my liner a little bit sparkly. If you don't screw up your eyeliner. The lash curl it might. Okay, let's try it one more time and let's hope there is no problem. Do you guys know any mascara that don't transfer on the oily lid? Like if you have the same issue and you were struggling and you couldn't find a mascara for the longest time, you would look like a raccoon with all mascaras. I really want to know because I like this mascara because it doesn't transfer much, but I hope there might be something better out there. 
All right, mascara is on. I need to grab lashes. And for lashes, I'm gonna use Ardell Wispies, Demi Wispies. I have a multi pack. I love those lashes, I think they're super cute. All right, the lashes are finally on. Had some struggle with my right eye, but it looks like we were able to save it. <laughs> For the lips, I want something red. So I just recently got a sample of, like a deluxe sample of Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Outlaw. And I'm super excited to try the formula, but I really like the shade. I tried it, I swatched the shade on my hand and I was super, super upset with this shade so I think it's gonna be a great shade I'm gonna still test the formal and let you know by the way normally um, all the makeup that I wear on my face I always put it in the description box below so if you want to see something specific or didn't hear it because of my accent <laughs> you can always go down in the in the description box below and check what I have on my face I hope I'm not gonna have any lipstick on my teeth once it's dry because this is more like a matte liquid lipstick and for now, we're having issues. <laughs> Let's wait till it dries and see if it's bad or not. And I'm gonna set, I don't know why I'm shaking it. It doesn't even say shake it. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna use Morphe Continuous Setting Mist as a setting spray. And I'm just gonna set my face. So this completes the look. I hope you enjoyed the look. I really like how it turned out. Very kind of minimal, but very Christmassy, very festive. I think this is a perfect classic makeup for Christmas. I'm, I'm definitely going to be wearing this kind of makeup on the Christmas day. And yes, I'm going to be wearing some makeup on my Christmas day. <laughs> I am that crazy. So this is it for the video. I hope you enjoy getting to know me a little bit and I cannot wait to know you a little bit more as well. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.